Hi friends, welcome to another video. This is Inner Hill Tarot and uh, today we're going to do a review of the Elements Tarot Booster Pack number one with uh, 17 tarot cards from the deck. Um, from my understanding, the Booster Pack number one especially are uh, the cards that doesn't make into the main deck. Uh, so seven the creator of the deck make booster packs uh, so that people can buy them separately uh, if they want to and before we do the review i think i'm going to give you a silent uh silent flip through first and then i'm going to talk about several cards not all of them um yeah because not all of them um caught my mind's eye <laughs> basically okay ready let's do this oh yeah i'm going to show the back of the cards too because every card has different backing as well i forgot to do this with the booster pack number four and three. <laughs> oh well kisera sera Okay, so booster pack number one is in the guidebook itself on page 169 from this washi tape mock material. 
to the page of 185 and it's ended with the element and upon a flip through how am I feeling so yeah let's talk about several cards that's really interesting I think this star uh, card is quite um, interesting actually because this is uh, telling you that uh, the star the hope fulfillment is not just who you want to be but where you want to be as well and this card is kind of emphasize it and yeah and it's um yeah it's a interesting take of the uh, of the star basically because it's literally the star it's remind me of yesterday card um not yesterday but on the uh on the second um booster pack called the albright and so in this card is also makes me feel like instead of the person um who's in front of the star like in a lot of um tarot card we saw depicted is it's the star itself you know it's not the person who wishing on the star but it's the star itself so it's a very interesting take for me as well this card the magician in this booster pack i really really love because this is ganesh and one of my um my favorite guy to go basically when i met by obstacles and actually um uh from my personal experience ganesh is really helpful for me when i have problems uh with my mentality towards housing towards apartment i used to have a very poor mentality that saying to myself that i don't deserve uh to live in a nice place you know every time i look for an apartment it's always like oh can i just squeeze my budget a little bit longer a little bit uh, tighter and in i end up living in a almost like a squatter area kind of thing and it is Ganesh that um, when I meditate upon him, he's the one who's like guiding me to to realize that this is just a um, surviving mechanism, you know. So Ganesh in the Hindu pantheon is uh, is a god that um, that uh, remove obstacle. He's strong like an elephant. That's why he has an elephant head. Uh, when it's actually in reality, Ganesh head is not an elephant. Um, if you, if you listening to Sadguru Sadguru podcast about Ganesh, Ganesh is actually some kind of an alien. It's a Ganas. You know, Ganesh is the Lord of Ganas. Ganas is the the alien not alien but more like an outside force um not necessarily from the earth that um that impactful for life on earth actually and his and ganesh is depicted as the son of shiva who's um, who's again he's from the hindu pantheon who's you know dealing with creation and destruction and all of this good thing and to have a Ganesh and as a magician is uh, very epic because in a way he is a, magi a magician because he's a he's a master of the pentacles you know like I said from my story um, for the real estate for example and he's also um, very steady in the mind with the ones and the swords because he's also someone who 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 said that um, he's the lord of uh, knowledge in hindu pantheon as well and he's also a lord of cups you know lord of emotion because he he unlike his brother kartikeya um 
there is a there's a story where Kartikeya and him uh, given a quiz by Parvati and Shiva, the parents. Okay, uh, you have to, uh, if you manage to go across the world seven times, I give you, I give you a very deep, profound knowledge. So Kartikeya, he's a god of war. Um, he's not a necessarily god of war, but he's like Ares, you know, in Hindu pantheon. He goes all over the world, <laughs> flying seven times, while um, the magician here, Ganesh, he just go uh, going uh, around his parents, Shiva and Parvati, seven times, and. When Shiva asked him, why you do this? Why you're not uh, racing with your brother seven times across the world? And he said very coyly, very smartly and say, well, you are my world. It's uh, I don't I don't need outside the world outside you. So, uh, you know, he's uh, he's someone who's wise and he's he's like the king of cups as well. You know, he he understand he kings he is kings of one he is king of cups he is king of sword and king of pentacles at the same time so of course to have him as the magician here in the little buddha taro to me it's very appropriate okay and the second uh, and the next card that i want to talk about this the justice card and in the description this justice card is the raw justice which is means that the justice that's uh, under work you know like this is like a very vigilante vibe very batman vibe actually because this is an, a type of energy that will kill the rapist of someone in your neighborhood that you know kind of thing I don't know if I like this, but the, I guess there is this kind of justice and we like I mean, I don't know about we, but I like the notion of Batman also, you know. So, yeah, this type of energy exists. Why not? The next one that I would like to talk about is this two pentacles card. It's quite appropriate, you know, especially this four of uh, pentacles. This is exactly the feeling if you're like um, kind of in a... In a in the feeling of oh what am i supposed to do with all of this money kind of feeling you know and this is like oh i'm going to you know make sure that this this shape that i'm making is much better than the last it is about uh, your craft right making your craft both are so cute and the next one, the next card that I would like to talk about is these two cards, which is very interesting to me, the last round and ten of attention. So I don't know which energy is this. Uh, probably is ten of swords, even the last round. I don't think this is the wheel of fortune at all. Um, and this this card is really intrigued me because it comes from the goth um, what do you call it goth cowboy deck. So I think the idea of um, ten of swords as the last round, you know, the the ultimate Russian Russian roulette. It's a very interesting um, because it just feels like that, isn't it? It's the finality. You died. If you got the bullet, uh, and also this ten of attention with the cancel, cancel, um, it kind of remind me of an episode in uh, season nine, Project Runway, uh, with Michael, um, Michael Kors. It, in one episode, they created uh, their own fabric, and it's saying like cancel, in and one one person make a skirt out of it and michael kors said who wants to, who what kind of woman who wants to have cancer on her crotch kind of thing <laughs> this is kind of the ultimate uh, sort to say this cock block basically you know and uh, yeah this is the energy that i feel from this maybe ten of swords yeah it feels like it okay 
the next card that I want to talk about is this one. This is such a crazy devil with a lot of snake as penis. What the hell is this, you know? It's uh, it's very fun and it's like a total indulgence uh, kind of devil, isn't it? It's like a, someone who is doing endless cosmetic surgeries or something like that. Or having gazillion sports cars to have bigger digs one at a time, you know? So yeah, that's very interesting to me. And... Which one? Okay, we, let's talk about the last three cards. This two cards here is very interesting for me as well. Like, let's talk about this one, the Empress in this deck. And in the guidebook, Seven talk about how the chain is like the baby's feet. So it's like having a baby is actually also chaining you, like producing something, producing a, a new project, not about birthing a baby. Just a new project is actually can drain your energy and it can, you're, you're not just produced basically, you have to take care of your baby, you have to take care of your projects and meanwhile you're doing that you have to take care of, uh, you cannot produce, um, you cannot just produce basically, right? And to me, it's like, I don't know if I agree with that as an energy of the Empress, even though, um, even though it's uh, only a distorted one, a distorted Empress energy. To me, it's more like a distorted, Queen of Pentacles energy kind of thing because the Empress is like um, major arcana energy and her to me it feels like um, Mother Earth energy that she she's really just produced really and like an animal you know when when a duck hatch or like a horse born and the baby is already can run that kind of thing yeah the mom will take care of it but it's not like a chain for for the leg you know what i mean if if the mother of the horse or the deer die the sh the foal basically still can live if or the calf or the baby horse still can live uh, if it's taken care of by others. It's not totally dependent. So that's for me, the Empress energy is really just produced. There is no limitation of how she creates. But I think this kind of distortion type of energy is more like um, suitable with the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. I might be wrong. Please leave me a comments if you th what do you think about this card that will help me as well to learn. And to from last is this one, the strength card from Terra Volatile Tarot, which is really nice. And I don't this is like a very distorted energy of strength also, you know, because look at his face, he's so purse per Postful, it's almost violent in in taking care of his inner strength, you know, and he's really struggling with the inner strength with the lion, and I don't want to be that guy, basically. So I, yeah, it's a weird strength card, to be quite honest. It's it doesn't feel very positive vibe to me. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this. And the last card of this um, booster pack. I think if you're getting a booster pack number one, it's one of the reason is this element card. And this element card is remind me also of the a previous card of the magician, you know, with so many hands on him. And at the same time, it also reminds me of the Bodhisattva Kuan Yin with the 1000 hands. So basically, uh, with the Buddha uh, Kuan Yin 1000 hands, it's like it means that she can help 
various problems uh, in one person or she can help one problem for 1000 people this type of feeling you know and based on the other the other card in the fourth in the fourth booster pack which is the alley itself you know sorry it's not very clear with the alley itself to me is uh it's the same kind of feeling of a card which is like both the the fool and the world you know but alley man it's more like the world kind of thing because yeah basically this type of energy this type of capabilities is mean the world for some people you know and this element um type of energy is there to help a lot of people dealing with different stuff basically so do i think this booster pack number one is essential to have um well you're buying the element tarot so i think element card would be the most attractive point to own this booster pack and the second one probably the devil with a lot of dick <laughs> a snake as dick that is so epic you know and probably also Ganesh as the magician is also cute to have um, but I think ultimately I still I still feel uh, booster pack number four is the ultimate to go to if you want to own a booster pack from this um, Aliments Tarot okay friends this is it for now please let me know what you think of this review leave a comment Leave a comment and share and subscribe. That would help my channel a lot. Um, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here until the end of the video. I cherish you. Have a good day, guys. Bye.